Hello guys, uh, my name is Niki. I am a recent graduate. I completed my MBA last month and I got ideas on how to start a business. I want to start a business, my second business so far in my life. And I wanted to document that. Maybe it will be helpful for anyone else out there maybe it serves as motivation maybe you just see my journey and you learn what not to do maybe you learn what to do who knows but yeah let's just start so my idea is very simple so one of the things that i learned was in order to be successful and to truly make something that people want you need to address a problem and so I currently live in Germany this country has one very big problem is, is that shops in general restaurants don't like to take a uh, card card payment because um, the payment processors always take a cut and yeah just imagine if they take a cut of 1.5 percent on every transaction if you make like only 100 euros that's only one euro 50 that's not very much but as you start to get more and more money let's imagine like you make 10,000 euros in a week for example that's 150 euros those fees start to add up the more you have them and so those small shops don't want another company to come and cut into their profits which is very understandable like we all understand that we already don't have that much money and we still are going to have to pay another person money mm, doesn't doesn't feel good doesn't feel good now what they have is like um so they will obviously lose many customers every month because there will be people that only will have um card on them like for example me earlier i wanted to go buy some noodles like many people do here so i went to the vietnamese store that i have on the street right next there and so I got there and they didn't take card. I had to scramble to see if I had any money. I had six euros, which was enough for some noodles with uh, tofu. By the way, very good, very tasty. <laughs> Anyways, uh, now if I didn't have this money, A, I will be out of food, and B, they will be out of a customer. And this is a negative situation for, well, both of us. And this is something that I want to try and address. Now I have some ideas. Um, and there's some problems with those ideas, very obviously. There's a problem with every idea. Now this is not going to be a perfect solution for all. This is just my first idea after brainstorming for a bit what i want uh so earlier i already researched like um what more or less how payment processes work and everything that they do in general now the thing is i could become one and i would also charge the fees because like i would have to maintain the network and everything and then we are back at stage one where they still have fees and they are still not going to adhere to this which is a problem now i thought about for example um cryptocurrency let's just make uh, a cryptocurrency payment uh, processor and we could use some uh, proof of stake so that it wouldn't be expensive and it would be manageable let's say it like that but it will still come with problems a 
it will still come with the problem of the swapping of uh, fiat and crypto and it will add a lot of problems and not be easy to be done in let's say a low amount of time and uh, because i kind of want to try and get this out there in maximum one month because i see the potential look let's just let's just see there's many people like me there's many there's millions of people in germany we many of them will have cash at hand but many won't and i'm 100 percent sure the stores want a cheap way to accept card payment but they don't want to pay let's imagine like i said earlier at 10,000 euros per week of revenue just pay 150 euros every week that's 600 euros per month on four month or four week months that starts to eat into the profits you can say it's still just 1.5 it's not that much look when you ha don't have like a big business that can support that and you're more or less not even paying that much to yourself and everything like those little amounts of money actually do make a big deal so we need to take that into account so what we are trying to aim is to save them around 8000 euros per year at least because in this example they would spend more or less 8000 euros per year just on fees so anything that is cheaper is better now uh like i said i already ruled out the cryptocurrency because that would take too long to actually fully and correctly implement um so my second thought was can i build a terminal so something that would be able to read it so for example you have a phone and you will just okay this this is a passport but yeah you'll just beep beep because phones have e nfc and as there's many uh, terminals for example there's these mini ones that are basically just phones there's even smaller ones and yeah now the thing that i found was that um yes many companies do build this but the problem is they are all integrated into the net the their networks which again comes back into the problem of you will have to pay into their network you will have to buy into their network which is not what we want so i thought okay can i for example make one i can i can i could just for example go buy a raspberry pi and add um, all the things that i need to be able to read properly the the cards it's an option like it's, it's a valid option and now comes the other part uh which is okay with this they uh, would still have to have like a, a, a network processing network and how can i have this uh processing network um so i thought what if literally every device that would that i would sell would run a little bit of the network and it will be a distributed network and there was like eh, that's just blockchain again <laughs> that's just blockchain again and look to be fair it works but um this would also imply that i would have to okay there is uh, something on the outside i don't know if you can hear it but yeah um okay there is uh, an ambulance coming through i live near an hospital it's normal so anyways um as i was saying i would still need a network and with making that network distrib a distributed network on each of the devices 
uh, I would have to have a way to connect them, but okay, look, iFi, they will need to always be connected through iFi and I will need to develop a network and everything, which to be fair, it's doable. And if I could um, do it, look, they only have to pay for the extra electricity and the internet and they, it will run the network and that will be no problem, but I would have to have a kind of a central server to coordinate everything because probably there will be lack of actual enough amount of power to be fully distributed, which will not be good and it will back into the problems of so how would I actually monetize this in actually in order to actually make sense because if I just for example charge them once uh, they pay once okay 200 euros and then I still have to pay for example the electricity of my computer as the main central server that distributes everything and then once again that means that it's actually not a proper distributed server and it will create a lot of problems and actually just make me lose money and that's not what we want we want to make money and so I will actually try this idea uh, I will contact people to know the feasibility of it and so what I will need to actually do and yeah like I said address the feasibility of it there's already a lot of um, payment processors and a company but if companies saw one that actually didn't charge them each transaction how many do you think will come to me for example on this uh, on this that makes 80,000 um, that would spend 8,000 euros per year just on fees plus buying the machine plus maintenance and blah blah blah, blah. I could offer them okay 4,000 euros that's all I could offer every company like 4,000 euros all now the problem is i would need to actually show that i have reliability and i would have support and everything and these companies are very big companies and they have a reason why they charge this 1.5 percent yeah i understand i i don't have that capability to actually lose that amount of money until i actually make amount the necessary amount of money that 1.5 percent can actually sustain my business so I need to do something else and this is where I come to the other option where um, I can create an app um, so here in Europe we have this thing called uh, SEPA which I already googled <laughs> earlier and basically SEPA transactions are mostly free and we have instant SEPA transactions so you see zero zero ah from November 1 how oh, there these are going to change yeah yeah but anyways so SEPA transfers uh, SEPA so for example, Revolut offers free and instant. And uh, Sparkasse, which is probably the biggest bank here in Germany, also offers free and instant SEPA transfers, as does N26, another very big bank, as does Commerzbank. So, now we know that this works. So, one thing is the problem here is that many times these transactions don't work instantly from bank to bank for example when i my girlfriend uh, was going to send me money she tried the instant transaction to me from sparkasa to n26 and it took one day and a half if i remember correctly even though it was an instant sepa transfer this is a roadblock because for this for a payment processor we need instant we need very short amount of time so that okay the the person receiving the money can confirm okay i got the money here's your product because you're not just going to give the product and be like yes i trust you that you're going to give me the money and then the money doesn't come and well it got fucked 
this cannot happen. But this is the thing. Now, uh, we could uh, create then one account which e with each of the banks. For example, Revolut does not charge for maintenance fees. N26 does not charge for maintenance fees. I have not fully researched um, Sparkasse and Commerce Bank, but I do Sparkasse does charge uh, maintenance fees, which is very shitty, but it was, if I remember correctly, to Euro 60, but that last time that I actually used it was 2018. So uh, they probably, yeah. Inflation. Greed. Anyways, uh, so we create one so we uh, I'm sorry if this is confusing but I have ADHD and my mind is all over the place but I'm trying to connect everything so you guys can understand what I'm thinking but yeah let me write here N26 uh, Comets Bank and what was the other one it was Revolut so Transfers from, like I said, between one to the other are not instant, but from the same to the same are instant. So, what I will do here is create an app where you could transfer from one of those into one of those again. So, Give me a second. Where is paint? Right here. Boop, 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 boop. Paint. So. Uh, so. Let's imagine. You have M26 here. And. We are going to put M26 here again. So, we would have something that we would ask the customer. So, what bank do you have? And the customer would say, the bank, we will press the bank, and the app, the app that we would create, uh, would have um, the option to select. And so, you will choose that, and uh, you would insert the amount of money and it will create a generate a QR code where it will have the all the details of the the seller, so the restaurant, the shop, whatever. And so dun dun dun. QR code, aspect code, whatever. So it will go. You would press the button, and it will go here to to this one it will generate the code the customer would scan the code with their phone so just boop, boop. because most of the apps right now that we have here in Germany you can um, do bank transfers and by just scanning the QR code and it will automatically put every bit of data into there and so you all you have to do in the end is just press confirm on the transaction and the money will go so you scan the QR code and the money is then sent to N26 for example in this case now the person there we will have the app then check into the balance to see um, TX1 for example TX2 TX3 and let's assume this is TX4. This is the transaction that we are looking for. When trans when we get this confirmation of TX4, so basically again, this one right here at the end, uh, the, the app will send to uh, would get the confirmation 
Okay, the money is there, and would then print uh, send the the message to the printer to print the receipt. And this will be a way to actually get everything done um, fillers. I would, for example, charge a subscription fee. Let's imagine 200 euros per year for maintenance, encryption, everything. And to use the app, it will save from 8,000 euros. It will go down to 200. And anyone within these four banks could now start actually paying without money without yeah like we say here barcash barcode so we wouldn't have to be like hey here's the five euro bill another one another one i personally hate carrying around money so this would this if i had the solution i would have bought two bags of noodles today instead of one so yeah, they, they lost six euros with me there. I mean, six euros. Uh, I don't know what is actually profit and everything, but still, it's money on the table that they left. So yeah, this is my current idea. I will need to check like what are the requirements to actually give the payment processor and how long do they need to keep the transactions. So after it, uh, so in this case, for example, after it prints the code, obviously all the transactions have to be stored in a database. We need to keep track of the transactions. So this will then, for example, send the receipt down here. And database and the store would have wait what happened here why are you I have no idea <laughs> and the store would have the info about what they sold for how much and everything now we have the problem here also that um, many stores do like to not uh, actually report what they earn and everything so they can keep things of the table of the government which is another problem for adoption but like it's something that you will have to weigh like is it worth it to get the extra clients but you have more accurate reporting or what is it now the thing is that they can also do is just keep reporting it the same way but you add the ones or just whenever you have an extra transaction on the on the card like this on the app you would take one away from the actual cash and this way you could actually have even more cash um, just non-declared transactions you know just an idea you it it would make sense you would have to pay less taxes and everything you just like you go from 200 orders that you have for example per week to 250 but initially so let me write this so it's not confusing so 200 orders per week where you only declare for example 150 You could now go to up to 250, let's imagine, orders per week, and you could still just declare 150. Or you could even declare 200. You could still have 550 undeclared, but you are like, so we adopted this new thing, it's normal that we make a little bit more profit. And so you keep the the tax guys out of the hook. They don't suspect something. And, you know, it makes sense. Nobody loses except for the government. But yeah. And this way, I could have my noodles. I could, I could go out and buy a kebab. 
Seriously, it's really bad. I, the, I, there's one store that I go to that has kebab and actually takes a card. That's it. I am hungry. I am a hungry man. I weigh a hundred kilos. I need to eat. Please let me eat. <laughs> That's it. So um, I will go on. I will talk to my uncle. Uh, he is probably very up for this. In he is a professional programmer, and if he isn't up, well, I will probably hire someone on Fiverr or try to do it myself with ChatGPT. Even though that's not really the best solution, but probably Fiverr will be the best solution. Just hire a team. They normally cost like 200 euros. They promise an app in like two weeks, many of them. So there's really not that many downsides. They just, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I will need to investigate more regarding the regulations and everything. But like I said, it's currently 1945. I got my foot at 1345. I had to do some work before this. And these are basically my actual just first thoughts. Like, I need to tackle this idea. I'm hungry. I need to eat. I need these guys to finally have card. I need them to finally accept card. Otherwise, I'm going hungry. And I don't want that. My girlfriend does not want that. My daughter does not want that. And, yeah. and why not also make a little bit of money with that? No. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I will come back in a few days with an update on how things are going. I don't know when. But, yeah. <laughs> Expect it around next week. Probably, yeah probably around middle next week yeah anyways thank you have a good one and you know smile